Video 2, Submitting Plans. The previous video provided an overview for how customers upload plans and documents into PLUS. This video will cover the last two steps in the process, Step 3, Sheet Versioning and Step 4, Review. Let's begin with Step 3, Sheet Versioning. In this step, all plan sheets will display in a table format. If the customer has submitted multiple plan files, all plan sheets will be displayed in this view. The total number of sheets will display above the table. The title block and thumbnail for each sheet appears on the left side of the screen. To take a closer look at any sheet, simply click on the thumbnail. The thumbnail also displays a rotate symbol that allows the customer to change the orientation of the sheet. The table lists the file associated with each sheet so that customers can easily see which file the system used to pull the displayed information. Finally, the system automatically populates information for the sheet number and sheet title found to the right of the thumbnail. In this step, the customer is asked to review this information and correct any errors. An error is identified when the system is not able to pull a sheet number or when the system identifies the same sheet number for multiple plan sheets. PLUS requires that each individual plan sheet has a unique sheet number. To increase the likelihood that PLUS will pull accurate information for the sheet number and sheet title, let's review what information the system uses to populate these fields. PLUS will begin by checking for a table of contents. It is recommended that customers include a table of contents with each plan file to help ensure sheet numbers and titles are identified accurately. The best format for the table of contents is as follows, the sheet number, followed by a space, and the sheet title. If plan files do not contain a table of contents, the system checks for page labels in the PDF thumbnail view, evaluating text directly on the sheet. If the plans have been scanned from paper, the system uses image recognition technology to attempt to locate the title block on each page and extract the sheet number for each sheet. Any errors related to sheet number will display in the table. The text will indicate if the error is that the sheet number is missing or if the sheet number has been assigned to multiple pages. Click the Show Only Error Sheets toggle to see all sheets with errors. The customer must go through and manually make corrections to all sheets with errors. Customers with a large number of errors may want to consider returning to Step 2, File Processing, and upload a new plan file that includes a table of contents. First, the customer would need to delete the current file and then add the updated file following the same steps as before. Adding a table of contents to the plan file may reduce the number of errors that need to be manually corrected. After correcting any errors, click the Continue button to move to Step 4, Review. This is the final step in the submission process. In this step, customers have the opportunity to review their information before submitting. To make changes, click the link to edit. This appears to the right of each section header. When all information is finalized, click Finish.